everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our Medjugorje Movie Project YouTube channel. For those of you who've been with us before, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome for the first time. So excited to have you join us. Uh, we are here today to talk about the updates for our movie. And I'd like to, before we begin with any of that, I'd like to introduce who we have on the screen with us today. My name is Ann Busick. I'm an executive producer and consultant on this project, have been involved in Medjugorje for almost all of my adult, adult life, and I'm bringing all of that experience to this project. Uh, on the screen with me is Holly Carney. Uh, hey. Holly Carney is a producer in Hollywood who has produced, you see behind her the poster of Fatima. She was the uh, producer on the movie Fatima, and also with us, Mr. Lucas Foster. We are very excited to have you join us, Lucas. Lucas has, I, I can't even list all the movies that Lucas has been involved with in, in his life, but just to name a few, Ford versus Ferrari, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Crimson Tide, Dangerous Minds, Man on Fire, the list goes on and on. And we truly are blessed to have uh, Lucas uh, be a part of this project, spearheading this project. And we, we have absolute confidence that with Lucas here with us, this is gonna be an incredible journey that we're taking with this movie. So with that said, welcome to both of you guys. Glad to have us all here together to talk about what the updates are to this movie. Thanks guys. So um, we've had lots and lots of questions over the course of the last couple of months as we've gone forward in this project. And we're here to address those questions in terms of sharing what the updates are. And the first one we'd like to talk about is um, where uh, we, the three of us made a trip to Medjugorje in May of this year, in May of 2023. Um, Lucas's first time, uh, Holly's third time, I think it was. Um, and so we'd like to just share that with all of you, what that experience was, was like. So would either of you like to begin with that? Well, I'll just correct you real quickly. It was my second time. Oh, and although I have been a third time since, but it was my second time. And it was my, my greatest privilege to take Lucas to Medjugorje, not knowing until we got there, he hadn't wanted to go at all. So Lucas, I'll let you take it from there. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, uh, uh, obviously, uh, I didn't really, well, not obviously, I didn't actually know anything about Medjugorje. Uh, I had never even heard the word before. So, you know, when Holly said, um, you know, do you want to go to Medjugorje? I flippantly said yes, without actually realizing what that meant. Um, you know, because I live as a, as a producer, part of my uh, way of living is to just kind of embrace adventure in a general sense. And, uh, you know, but I didn't I didn't know anything about it. Um, so when as we got closer to the trip, I started to, you know, panic somewhat and go, oh, my God, what have I gotten myself into? You know, I told my family that it was in Croatia and they were like, you know what? It's not in Croatia, by the way. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't know enough. I didn't I didn't do enough research before I went. So but I decided, you know what? I, you know, I want to I want to live the type of life where, you know, I experience new things, even things that are uncomfortable. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go, not have really having any expectations at all. And, uh, you know, it turned out, it went from being something that I was kind of mildly afraid of to being a, a great joy and a kind of an incredible experience for me. So, you know, well worth doing. And, you know, now we're doing a movie uh, project about it. So, you know, that, that turned out to be a cool a cool outcome. Uh, but personally, I, I had a, I don't know, I had a, a kind of a emotional experience there. You know, it was, it was powerful in ways that surprised me. That's awesome. I have to add this, that when we started sharing with Lucas about Medjugorje, he said 50 million people have been to Medjugorje. And then after he experienced it, he changed it to, why have only 50 million people been to Medjugorje? So I think that that was one of the most profound statements he made in that journey. And I, I want to share something too, just a, a cute, funny little kind of, it was almost, it almost became kind of like a, a, a joke among, among the three of us, you know, when the, when the, when our journey together began, um, Holly and I, who've both been, you know, steeped in the Catholic faith, we would say things like, wow, look at the hand of God and whatever it was that happened. And Lucas would say, well, 
may, you know, maybe I would call that a coincidence. And so it kind of became a running joke. You know, we, we, Holly and I would say, oh, look at the Holy Spirit at work there or look at God at work there. And how uh, Lucas would joke, well, maybe that's a coincidence. But by the end of the trip, Lucas, it was so funny when at one point you said to us, what, there's a lot of coincidences that happen here. <laughs> No, yeah. at one point he actually said, this may be the luckiest place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. That so was we pretty still funny. joke about coincidence <laughs> today. <laughs> there are a lot of coincidences that happen around you two. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. <clears throat> so, uh, Well, one of the uh, questions that we get most frequently asked about this is what is this movie going to be about? And we do have some updates about that. Holly, would you like to share that with us? Oh, sure. Well, let me talk about what the movie is going to be about, actually, and then I'll pass the ball to Lucas to talk about the updates. But we made a decision the first time we ever went to Medjugorje that we didn't want to make a, a film about the actual events of Medjugorje regarding the visionaries, the locutionists, the the miracles of the spinning sun and this and that, anything that sensationalizes the Catholic faith. We knew from the beginning we were going to go there to get all the relevant church officials approval based on a movie that would speak to the global audience. We don't need to evangelize those that are already believers. We don't need another Catholic film or Christian film to speak to those audiences. We want a film that speaks to everybody and draws everybody in. So this movie is it's actually going to be a true Lucas Foster movie of adventure and action and humor. And I believe that it will draw everybody in to see the grace of God that's flowing out of that land and the fruit that you can take away from having have gone there and experienced God in Medjugorje. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, I think I did say a few times, um, you know, I'm not the right guy to make a, you know, faith-based film or a Catholic film if if there is such a thing. You know, I I'm 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 a Jewish guy from Manhattan. I'm not I'm not I would I would not have the knowledge to do that or the interest. I also think, you know, it, it what's the advantage that someone like, you know, me has here is that as as an as an outsider if you will or someone who really didn't know anything about this happening you know, I didn't know about, I mean, I kind of vaguely had heard about Fatima and I kind of vaguely had heard about Lords. I sort of generally knew about those, but obviously Med Medjugorje is a little bit more obscure. And I, you know, I didn't, I, I, I don't think focusing on, on, uh, you know, another appearance um, uh, is, is the, is going to resonate with a, with a wide audience. I think that the task here is to um take what is happening to people to you know to to us regular folks the the journey to a place like this and kind of look at what you call the fruits look at that in a in a really serious way um and in, you know to inspire people to to do great things with their life and uh, that's what uh appeals to me and i think that's uh it gets me excited to to be able to you know, talk to people in such a way that they, um, you know, that they're motivated to go out and do, you know, positive things in their life uh, after seeing this film. So, um, you know, obviously Medjugorje is a, is a, is, is going to figure in the film in a, in a big way, but it's, it's not the, the, the entire story is not about that. So, uh, you know, the trick here is to kind of take what I've learned about making you know, movies that appeal to a wide audience, uh, you know, a global audience in every language and every country around the world, and to kind of, uh, you know, and, and do that here in an interesting way. So that's what I'm. That was excellent. And I do want to add to to that. There are beautiful documentaries that have been made about Medjugorje and the history of everything that's happened there since Our Lady's been appearing. And um, we don't need to redo those as well. So I, I just wanted to say that. Well, thank you. So, that, yeah. That was great. <laughs> um, 
Lucas, could you speak on also where, you know, a lot of the questions that we get also revolve around where are we in this process? Where, you know, what stage are we at in, you know, in this, in this filmmaking process? Well, as you said, we went in May um, and, you know, it's December as we record this almost Christmas. So, um, you know, it took me a little while to get on the frequency, if you will. Once we came back from uh, the trip, I, I really needed to do all the homework that I didn't do before the trip. So I just I spent some time reading and thinking about how to approach this. Um, and, you know, we you know, we spent more or less five or six months doing that. Um, we've gotten to a place where we've uh, figured out um, who to collaborate with. We have some good collaborators, other collaborators, um, kind of in the producing contingent. We have of some, uh, you know, there's some, uh, you know, talented um, artists, you know, uh, for when we hit the production phase. And um, I, I have some writers in mind that uh, I plan to approach in January to kind of get them to join the team. And, uh, you know, what should happen in 2024 is, uh, you know, we'll actually turn this into, a, you know, a screenplay. And, uh, and, you know, we'll do a few drafts, I'm sure uh of of a screenplay which will take you know a good portion of next year uh hopefully not all of next year and you know if if everything goes really well and there's no you know surprises you know we want to be teed up to to be making the film you know in the last quarter of next year or the first quarter of the following year at the latest and that's kind of where we're that's where we've kind of planted the flag and said this is where we want to be so you know we have a six seven eight months to kind of you know get what we're thinking down on paper and, and kind of polish it and uh and that's what we'll do next and uh we've you know we raised some money we're we're in good shape there so you know obviously we need more but we, we we're doing well so we need to um you know now we just need to uh make the design, if you will, for this film. That's awesome. Well, I want to just jump on, 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 on that, that you just mentioned about raising the funds. I just want to say, um, just put this out there that, you know, to make a movie takes a lot of money to make a really good movie takes even more money. And this, we want this to be an amazing movie. And as Lucas said, we have raised significant funds and we're incredibly uh, uh, just excited about uh, uh, the doors that have opened with that and, you know, the people that have come forward to be a part of our team financially, just wonderful people that the Lord has drawn to us. And, uh, but to continue the process, we do need additional funds. And part of what, you know, part of what we're doing is um, this is an independent project, meaning we're not looking for money from anybody in Hollywood. And the reason for that is because we want to have entire creative control um, in our hands. And we don't want anybody dictating, you know, what the story can or can't be. Um, and so to do that, we do need to raise funds. And so we are looking for people to continue partnering with us to, to really bring this uh, to fruition, to make this, uh, we have every confidence that that will happen because from the very beginning, we've felt the hand of the Lord guiding this project from its inception to today. And so um, if there's anybody who's watching this, who would like to be a part of this journey with us, who'd like to see a movie like this in a time when there's all kinds of not great movies being made, not great messaging out there, this is going to be a movie with an incredibly powerful, positive message for our times. We'd love to have you join our team, be a part of helping us to bring this to fruition. So if there's anybody out there who would uh, like to help us financially, please get a hold of us. Um, there's two ways you can make a financial um, uh, you can participate financially. One is you can make a tax deductible donation. Secondly, you can make an investment. And it, we won't get into any of the specifics of that on this video, but if you'd like more information about that, please reach out to us. You see our, uh, our, our wonderful assistant. I'm sorry, I forgot to say this at the beginning. We have a rock star of an assistant, <laughs> Jessica Lasseter, who's with us. Uh, you don't see her on screen, but she is with us here. And um, if you, uh, you, she'll have our uh, website address on the screen. Um, if you go to our website, please check that out and go to our contact us section and just send us an email and we will get back with you uh, because we, we would love to have, you know, people uh, who also want a project like this 
partnering with us to bring this forward. So and that, that was excellent. And I just want to jump in and say two more things. Um, we ask for your prayers as well. Please cover us with prayers. We um, pray for all of you. We pray for everyone that Our Lady has brought us to invest or to contribute or to gift the project. And we're so grateful. And we also ask if you have a, a testimony of your own experience about Medjugorje or having have gone there, please reach out to Jessica Lassiter, our executive assistant from New Orleans, and we will give you the um, information to upload a video to put on our YouTube channel to share with everyone. Yeah. And you mentioned the YouTube channel. We also would love to have you check out all of our social media, go to our Instagram, our Facebook. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, comment, do all of that stuff, because uh, we would love to have you follow us on this journey as we bring this movie to fruition. So anything else either of you want to add? I just want to say I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working on lots of projects at the moment, but I'm really excited about this uh, movie. It went from being kind of a head scratcher, like, what am I doing here, <laughs> to, uh, to, uh, to being really genuinely um you know, engaged in it and, uh, and, and excited by it. And I, I really, you know, I've made a lot of action adventure kind of movies and thrillers and, and what have you, um, you know, some of which have really dark themes and, um, and I'm really excited to do something here. That's, you know, completely different. That's really, you know, uplifting. It won't, it's not like it won't have some moments that are challenging, but, uh, in the story, but I, I think that the overall objective of this is to really uplift people. And uh, and I'm 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 super psyched about that. I, I really want to do this. Oh, that's awesome. Praise God. And, you know, I have to leave with a little bit of funny, because if you're still watching after this long video, when Lucas met with the fathers, I think it was Father Svet and Father Yozo, the provincial of the Franciscan order. He looked at them because he didn't think he was the right guy. And he goes, you know, I make revenge movies. Right. You know that. Right. <laughs> We all started laughing because everyone hands down said, no, you're the right guy. You're the guy our lady has brought us. She mm. brought her Jewish son because she's our Jewish mother. So it was awesome. Amen. Amen. And Lucas, I just want to add, I, I on my own behalf, uh, I'm really, really thrilled that you're a part of this journey, that that you're that you're working with us on this. This is this is amazing to have you here. So thank you for for trusting this process with us. So um and I also just want to say we are we are on the verge of Christmas coming along. We're at the very tail end of Advent. So I want to wish a blessed Advent to all of you and a wonderful, joyous Christmas. Thank you for joining us and yep. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. It's a wrap. Mary chosen, daughter holy, Israel's most faithful. God raised you from all the lowly, made you mother of his son, I rejoiced in God.